Hi, I'm Greg from Pivot Stove and Heating, and I'm here in our beautiful Geelong showroom with all our SE cookers all set up to show you the most important video we can do for you is how to clean your SE wood stove. This is probably our biggest request video and hopefully we're going to, today we're going to run you through some real quick tricks and hints that now that you've got your SE wood stove and you're running it, just how to look after it. Now everything we're running through here today is in your SE manual, but I think it's easy to show you sometimes. And let's run through how to clean an SE wood stove. So when you received your SE stove, inside the oven you would have found a bag of tricks. And inside the bag of tricks there are some tools you're definitely going to need for this next exercise. It's all about taking the hot plate off your SE wood stove. Now the first thing you need to find is the Allen keys. Now the Allen keys are three different sizes when you brought your SE stove. What you want to do is find the right size Allen key which is going to fit the nut in the top of the, or the Allen key nut which is fixing down the hot plate of your SE stove. Then you would need to find these. These weird looking bendy things. These are the most important tools you're gonna to need for your SE cooker. These are your lifting handles to get the hot plate off. And to do this, it's a very simple process. You need to unscrew the screws, the fixing screws out of your SE hot plates. Then wind the handles in, and then these handles then turn into lifting handles. And the lifting handles allow you then to take the hot plate out of your SE wood stove. So do you remember when you brought your SE wood stove home, there's a whole pile of tools and aprons and gloves and this weird thing wrapped in bubble wrap. If you unpack that inside that, you'd find there are two tools. This is your bottle brush tool and this is your SE scraper tool. Both these tools are gonna to be required for the next stage, which is about cleaning around the, around the oven. Now the SE wood stove is a brilliant stove. One thing I love about it is how it operates. All that air or that heat or that vapor goes across the top of the oven, down the side of the oven, underneath the oven, and up through the rear chamber of the, of the oven. This is what makes the SE stove, or well, the oven cooks absolutely brilliantly. Now, the easiest way to explain this is I think it's like your lungs. Because there's air running around there, if it's nice and clean, you have a lot of energy and she works brilliantly. And as soon as your oven temperatures start to drop, or more importantly, start getting smoke inside your oven, it means the oven chambers or the, or the SE lungs are now starting to get full of soot. And these are the tools you're gonna need to be able to clean those areas around. So let's start off, if you have an SE900 or an SE990 wood stove, this part of the oven is identical and we're gonna clean down the right hand side. Now with your bottle brush tool, I would have found when you first do it, you need to be able to get down this tight corner. And the easiest way to do that is to give the brush just a little bit of, <clears throat> just a, little bit of a right angle. And what you need to do is actually try and get it down the side. And it's as simple as get it around like that and then basically <laughs> Now that you've got the brush all the way down, it's about giving it a clean. Now I want to explain something. There is nothing you can do in here to break. There's nothing in here to get jammed. So if you're having a bad day, clean your stove because this is what you need to do. When your brush comes out, this is what we're expecting to see. At a wee bit of an angle, don't be afraid to give this area a bit of a clean. Now a couple of tricks I found. If you haven't cleaned your stove for a long time, the side of the stove can be caked with ash. Now to get away with that, please, one little trick to do is actually use this end of the brush to break it up. And what you can do is actually, if you've got quite a crusty type finish, this will allow you to break it up, crumble up to be able to clean around the outside of it. Now that we've cleaned in the right hand side of the oven, all that smoke's traveled underneath the oven, which we'll get to in a minute, and it's then come up the back of the oven. This is the, probably the most difficult part of cleaning the SE stove. Now for this exercise, I'm just going to quickly pull this apart. I'm going to take our flue box cover off. And what you can see, this is our flue damper. This is actually how your SE stove works. So when you first light up the stove, all that smoke's coming out of the firebox here. And what you're trying to do is get all that heat into the flue. And this is where it's coming in from. So when you push the damper back, all that's, what you're doing is called a bypass damper and all that smoke's going into your flue. Now what you can have is sometimes you hear that little trinkle, trinkle, trinkle noise. What that is is all the soot falling down and it can fall in this gap. So when you're cleaning over the top of the oven, you want to make sure that you can clean up in here that there's nothing blocking this section. But all that smoke then is when it's nice and hot, you push the damper forward. And what it's doing is blocking that hole, which means all that smoke now has to come across the top of the oven, down the side of the oven, underneath the oven, then up through the flue. So this is the rear chamber where the flue is. Now probably the most difficult thing with an SE is that it's not as easy to access as you and I would probably want, but you do have to clean all the way down through this chamber. Now to do that, you can access it through the flue box. Now to, 
Now to clean down the back, again, a little bit of a kick on the flow brush head does make a big difference to trying to get down that angle. And as you can see, the actual chamber is not dead center to the flue. It is offset by about three or four inches. So what you're trying to do is get the flue brush in at a bit of an angle. Now to prove that this is not as easy as it looks, you want to try and get in there. Oops, knowing that that's not going to move. And find your way. Now obviously you're going to have your flue on this side. But to get it in there, you do have to find that sweet spot, that sweet angle to get it in. If you do put the flue brush in and it only hits halfway, you know either one or two things. You haven't quite found that chamber hole or the back chamber is absolutely caked with soot. And again, to do that, you can do either use the loop end of the brush to break it all up first or the bottle end of the brush after you've done that, then to sweep it out. But now, again, there's nothing down here you can break. There's nothing in here which will make the flue brush get jammed. So give it a little bit. With your SC wood stove, when you're cleaning down the side chamber or the rear chamber of the stove, what you want to make sure is you do get all the way down and all the soot out. You're not actually compressing the soot within that chamber. Now, a little trick I found over the years is two ways to know that you're doing it correctly. Number one, the flue brush has to go all the way down the side here. So if you find that you're getting about this much and all this tail sticking out the top of the um, oven, you probably haven't got the flue brush all the way down. Um, I've actually gone to job sites where I've pushed them in. I've, I only got down about six inches and that's a little bit weird. You wanna make sure that you do get it all the way down. But the biggest trick I can give you is actually inside the oven. So now that we've cleaned down the right hand side of the oven and the rear oven, all that soot goes between the two ovens here. Now in the early model SUs, you would have found there was an access plate here with two screws. In the later models, you now can access this through the bottom of the oven. Now to do this, you'll need your SU tool which come with the stove with this little pin. All that soot is now down in here. Now a couple of ways to get it out is obviously a vacuum or use the SC shovel to scrape this through. But a couple little tricks is inside here, there's a chamber through that you can access the rear chamber and access the side chamber. A couple of tricks, when you're cleaning the flue with your flue brush, you wanna see that if you can actually feel or see the flue brush through these little access holes on the back here. If you can't see the flue brush, that means you haven't got the flue brush all the way down and you need to re-clean it. So make sure that you get your flue brush down. You can feel the flue brush through here and that way there you know that the chamber is 100% clean through the side and 100% clean through the back. I get asked a lot about how often should I be cleaning around my SE stove and the fact of the matter is you will know. You know when your stove's just not getting to temperature as well as she used to and you're getting puffs of smoke, she's due for a clean. Now the easiest way to know that you can get the most out of your stove is to get the fuel right. It's all about the wood you burn. Make sure that you've got a fuel management program in a position. You're using your moisture meters. You're getting your wood under 20%. If you burn the right type of wood, you will find that it'll burn, the Essie stove will burn it so much cleaner and you're left with a very, very gray ash. The darker the ash, the more moisture is inside the wood. Now I've used the word moisture, not green. Moisture can also mean the wood is wet from the rain or it's been sitting on the ground, it's absorbed that area. So make sure that you do get the wood right in your wood stove and you'll find that the cleaning is so much easier. The hot plates on all the way to wood stoves need to be maintained too. Inside your SC box you've also got a steel brush. The steel brush is great for cutting all that grime, all that scum off the top of the hot plate. And it's a good idea now that your stove is cold is to now season the hot plate. And you can do this using natural olive oil on a rag and just giving it a nice wipe down. Seasoning your hot plate will make sure it's a lot easier to clean as you're cooking later on. When it comes to cleaning the enamel, there's a lot of products on the marketplace. Um, this is Stanley's Enamel Cleaner, Arga, Rayburn, Essie. There's a few different brands on the marketplace. Follow the instructions on the back. It's pretty simple. You want to just be cutting the, the enamel back off. The fact of the matter is these can be quite expensive. Truthfully, we use Kitten's Car Polish. Yes car polish. The stuff you buy from your local service station is absolutely perfect on the enamel of your stove. Make sure it is the softer grade. You don't want to go for a harsh grade cut and polish, but any car polish will also clean the SC enameling off the wood stoves. Today's video is really going through the most intricate parts of the um, wood stove that the cleaning. The most obvious stuff which you guys are going to already know. When you take your hot plate off, make sure you clean the soot out from underneath. 
make sure you clean the soot off from the top of the oven. Um, inside the SE stoves, the afterburn technologies, the great thing to do this is honestly hit it with a hose. That's the best way to get it out or a vacuum cleaner and make sure it's nice and dry before it goes back in your stove. But everything I've shown you today is inside the SE manual, but it's about making sure that we get those side chambers nice and clean inside your stove, which can make the big difference of getting the stove working absolutely brilliantly. If you have any questions, check out our website, pivotstove.com.au. Download the manuals from our website. And don't forget, if you haven't registered your SE, it's not too late. Jump on our website and register your SE wood stove. I'm Greg from Pivot Stove and Heating, and this is some very basic tricks on making sure you can clean your SE wood stove as best as you can.